hello dear friends welcome to my channel in this video I'm going to show you how to use the shape bender plugin in SketchUp as you can see I want to bend this rectangle along this curved path and for that we will be using the powerful shape bender plugin and uh, you can download this plugin for free from the extension warehouse or uh, sketch education site To make it work properly, make sure you are always working along the red axis. If you are on a different axis like the green one, it may not work. Alright, uh, let's get started and I will show you how it works step by step. As I mentioned earlier, for the Shape Bender plugin to work correctly, we need to align everything along the red axis. So. I'm going to rotate this rectangle the shape I want to be so that it's aligned with the red axis now and now as you can see we have a curve path that we want our shape to follow so we also need to rotate this curve and uh, it's aligned with the red axis now next uh, we need to draw a straight reference line thoroughly that align with the shape that we want to bend and uh, this line must be placed either directly on the object or just below it and uh, make sure not to draw this line too far from the shape because uh, if the reference line is too far away the bend result will also shift away from the curve to bend the shape we first select the object we want to deform, then the plugin, then the straight reference line, and finally click on the path that defines the bending trajectory. And as you can see, the shape has now been successfully deformed along the curve. Next, we will reposition it to its intended location. And as you can see, the shape has been accurately and smoothly bent. As we mentioned earlier, the reference line should not be placed too far from the object. If there is too much distance, the shape will also be offset by the same amount that, uh, from the cut, resulting in a distorted final shape. Either it's uh, larger or smaller than intended. Let me demonstrate this with an example. As you can see, since the reference line was placed further away, the shape has also been generated further from the path, making it larger than what we actually intended. Yeah, right here you can clearly see that it's larger than the original shape we wanted. If you found this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.